From its humble beginnings as a small organization of three, the Black AIDS Institute has grown into a national institution with chapters in 28 cities and 675 million media impressions per year. It's helped change the climate of HIV AIDS in the black community, from hopelessness to optimism, by enacting its plan to end the epidemic. The plan uses three simple strategies for what the Institute calls a functional cure. One, get people tested. Two, get HIV positive people into treatment. And three, get HIV negative people to practice prevention. In 2009, the Institute partnered with the Kaiser Family Foundation for the Greater Than AIDS campaign, which became the largest HIV testing public service announcement targeted at people of color. Tell them, look at this. Do you want this? Uh-uh, not without a condom. HIV testing rates went up all across the country as a result and the HIV infection rates among black women dropped by 20%, but the battle was not yet won. African Americans are still disproportionately impacted. We got a slow start, and we got a slow start because of the stigma, because AIDS was associated with homosexuality, because AIDS was associated with drug use, and because AIDS was associated with sex, because AIDS was a deadly disease. We view the AIDS epidemic as somebody else's problem. The Institute's CEO, Phil Wilson, currently sits on President Obama's Advisory Council on HIV AIDS. But policy creation without the support and participation from the people it's designed to protect is futile. With the Institute's influence, the Obama administration released the National HIV AIDS Strategy in 2010. For African Americans, it's 13 percent of the population, nearly 50 percent of the people living with HIV AIDS. Reducing new HIV infections, improving care for people living with HIV AIDS, narrowing health disparities. These are the central goals of our national strategy. The Institute remains at its core a grassroots organization and is only as powerful as its supporters. It requires companies to contribute funding and expertise to the fight. It requires us to use every source of information from TV to film to the internet to promote AIDS awareness. It requires community leaders to embrace all and not just some who are affected by the disease. 